Today we're going to be coloring a music video for Rich Amiri. I make these videos to show you guys my color grading process and I also do it with cool artists like Rich Amiri so it gets you guys to click on the video. Anyways, we're going to be coloring the one call music video and if you're wondering how are you going to color an already colored video? I get this question all the time. What I do is I go into my project, I right click, I create a new item and then I create an adjustment layer and I drag it on top of all of the footage here. Now, what I'll do is I'll click on the adjustment layer and then I'll go into Lumetri Color. I'll turn the contrast all the way down. I'm gonna make this bigger just so you guys can see. And then I'll turn the saturation down to about like 50%. Then I'll turn the shadows up like this. And in my opinion, I think this is flat footage. I shoot S-Log3 all the time. And I think this really looks like flat footage. Maybe turn the saturation down a little bit more to something like this, but. I do really think this is the closest you'll get to a flat footage. Now, I recommend doing this if you guys want to practice coloring on your favorite music videos. It's a super easy trick to uh, get this footage looking like flat footage so you can color on it. Anyways, let's hop right into this. Super quick, before we get any more into this video, I have to let you guys know about my editing packs presets. Over on my website, there are a ton of editing packs created by me for creators just like you. We have so many different effects and transitions over there that you guys can use on your projects to level them up instantly. We have everything ranging from fast and wood effects that allows you to add drag and drop shakes, hits, and wipes to your videos super easily. A LUT pack that contains over 285 different LUTs, drag and drop 3D effects that work on every single editing program that require no render time whatsoever, and so many other different unique looks, editing packs, and styles that you guys can use to level up your visuals. If you guys are stuck in an edit or you're just looking to take your videos to that next step for 2024, I highly recommend going over and checking out the site because there's something there for you. But anyways, let's hop right back into this. We're going to drag and drop another adjustment layer on top of everything here and then what we're going to do is we're going to cut that adjustment layer to each individual clip so it's going to be easy to color on them and if you haven't noticed already i color on adjustment layers i think it's way better but anyways let's get started on this clip right here so what i'll do is i'll start inside of lumetri color here if you guys don't have lumetri color in this tab here what you can do is you can go up to window hit lumetri color and then drag it into your tab here and then we're going to start inside of creative here and we're going to hit look and then hit none and then hit browse. We're gonna be coloring with my ultimate LUT pack for this video. I highly recommend going and checking it out. It'll be linked below. There are one through 282 different LUTs and then seven additional film LUTs. You will literally never run out of LUTs if you guys download this LUT pack. I use it all the time in almost all my videos and it is great, but you guys can also use other LUTs or use no LUTs. Trust me, you will learn something from this video regardless of using this LUT pack or using another one. We're gonna go and pick a completely random LUT just to show you guys how good this pack is. Let's go with 106 here and we kind of have like a reddish bluish tint on this one. So we're going to go into basic correction now and I'm going to turn the contrast up. I'm going to turn the blue up just like that. Turn it to green a little bit just so we get rid of that pink. I'm going to turn the shadows down and then I'm just going to make this full so it doesn't get weird every time like that. That was strange. It's already looking great guys. And then maybe turn the shadows down a bit more and then I'm going to turn the highlights up. And then if we go into curves here, I'm going to create an S curve. I'm going to bring this middle one down just a tad and bring this one down to tad two. And then we're gonna go into green here and do the exact same S-curve thing. Just to add a little bit of green into the image. And I think that looks pretty good there, guys. What we're gonna do next, it might be a little bit too green actually for my liking. Now that I'm looking at it, sometimes you get caught up in the, uh, the details here. Just a little bit of green. There we go. That looks great. I think that looks great there if we do before and after, especially if we compare it to the original footage. I like the greenish look more than the orange. Anyways, I think that looks great. What you guys can do as well is add some film grain, maybe some film emulation. I'm going to be using my film grain, which is this 500T extra grain. You guys can grab this from my film look pack that'll be linked below. Um, when you drag it into 1080p compositions, you want to scale it down because it is 4K. Then we're going to set it to overlay. You guys can see we get a nice grain just like that. What you can also do is just turn the exposure on the grain up as well. So that looks great there. But on top of the grain, what I also recommend doing as well is if you don't want to use that grain, you can create another adjustment layer. Then we're going to go into effects and add something called Dehancer. It's a film emulation plugin. If you guys want to go check it out, it'll be linked below. I have a coupon code down there to save you guys some money as well. If we go into effects now, I can find it. Effect controls, I guess. Um, it's going to input a film like look here. I recommend you guys can turn it on or off. That looks super sick. So I think I'm going to leave it on. And then there's a couple other things that you guys might want to turn off and turn expand off. And then this print here, you can like make it look like it was printed on film. I'm going to leave that on. And then what I really like to add is just halation and then bloom. You guys will see in a second here what those do once they load in. Halation is going to make certain areas like edges glow red. If I go and amplify it, 
Just give it a second here. And you guys can see how super sick this looks. The halation is putting in a little bit of work on the edges here. It's not really doing too much because it's a darker image. All right, and that looks so sick there, guys. We're gonna move on to the next one here, which is this super sick silhouette shot. Show you guys what it looks like originally. It looks like this. We're gonna be starting with this blank slate here on top of this adjustment layer. So just like before, Lumetri Color, we're gonna go into Creative, hit Look, None, hit Browse, and let's go with another random lot. Let's go with... Uh, 219 here that's a good place to start off with very green and very orange we go into a basic correction now what i'm going to do is i'm going to turn to turn the exposure down and then i'm going to turn the whites up a tad and the shadows down we could make this a little bit more orange i want to keep that contrast in the uh the sky here turn the saturation up there we go we get that contrast a lot more and i think that looks great there we have the before and then the after Super sick. And then same as before, we can add dehancer. So if I just drag and drop this dehancer on here, we'll see how it looks. You guys can see the halation a lot more clearly now. I think it's a little bit too overkill on this clip, but I think this right here just looks great in itself. If we compare flat and then this, you get a super great look, especially comparing to the original as well. All right, then moving on to our very last one, we get this nice composition shot. Just like before, going into creative, we're going to hit look, none, browse. Uh, we're going to go with a completely a random LUT here. Let's go with 12. And I think this looks cool. It's a nice blue, blue and red light, it looks like. So we're going to go ahead and turn the contrast up, turn the saturation up, turn the orange down, turning the exposure down. And we get something like this. If we compare that to the before shot and now a lot more blue compared to the before and after here. Looks great as well, guys. And I'm going to think I'm going to call it that. Hopefully you guys learned something from this video. If you want to cop the lot pack, it'll be linked below. It's on sale right now. So I highly recommend checking it out. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.